Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Today we're going back to 1992, back when tape players, boom boxes, and all that stuff was real popular. A nice little smaller American town we're headed to. Today we're looking to try to save Marcy. This is the Marcy case, the second story from the game Time Stories. The unique Time Stories to be able to play this. I'm doing a no spoilers review, basically just comparing and contrasting the two stories because you may be on the edge to figure out if you really want to buy this or not. And uh, you might want to see, well, how good is the second one? Is it as good as what people are saying about the first one? So let's take a look. I'm going to show you just a tiny bit of the back of the box, and then I'll be right back to give you my final thoughts. Now this is all I'm going to show you because this is all you can gain information from their website. And so essentially it's the Marcy case where a strange disease strikes a quiet American town, save little Marcy, save the future. And this is the artwork style that's in the game, which is much different from Asylum. This is more of that sort of comic book looking style artwork versus the very serious horror looking art style in Asylum. But this is all I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to do a lot of comparisons between the two without spoiling it. So let's go to my final thoughts. Now I'm guessing the majority of the people watching this are probably still not sure if they want to buy this consumable game called Time Stories and they want to see a no spoiler review of Marcy Case to see if it's as good as what everyone's saying about the first one and if so maybe they'll take the plunge and buy it and if not maybe they'll hold off. Or maybe you're someone who's played Asylum in the first case of the Time Stories and you're not, well if you've played that most likely you're going to buy this because of how amazing the Time Stories game is with the Asylum. So let's talk about this. How is it different? I'm going to have to do this in a creative way uh, to make sure that we don't spoil anything. So first of all, these two cases are really very, very different from each other, both in theme, both in time, both in artwork, both in a little bit different mechanically as well. So let's first talk about the artwork. The artwork's very different. It's that comic book style I just showed you the back of the box versus that really interesting horror looking style that I showed you in the, the original Time Stories video. So the artwork's very different as gorgeous, just a different sort of feel to it. I prefer the, the, the artwork in the Marcy case, but that's a personal preference thing. You might like this one better. Now mechanically, uh, there's actually a few more elements to this game. I'm not gonna say what, but there's a, a, a small few layers that get put on top of this, a few more things to keep track of, a few more things to do. Uh, mechanically speaking, not overly complex by any means. Uh, in fact, we had two people that had not played the Asylum case with us, uh, play this with us at BGGCon, and they were able to pick up on it very fast. It's not hard, but just a little bit more depth mechanically. Uh, now this one, from a standpoint, had a lot more combat than than the, 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 the than the Asylum did, right? So the Asylum was more about puzzles and searching and figuring out clues, and this one was really more about combat. Now I would say that there's probably the, the same amount of rolling dice between the two. It's just in the first case you're rolling dice to, to you know to do things and search and do this and that and you're searching in the marcy case too but i'd say three quarters of the time that you're rolling in marcy case you're rolling to fight something uh where in asylum i'd say maybe half or maybe a third of it is fighting and the other half or two thirds is searching or influencing or something like that but about the same amount of uh rolling just more combat heavy here I typically prefer less combat, so this wasn't as cool for me. Wait to my final thoughts here at the end, because uh, I'm going to kind of put this in all into perspective here at the end as we land the plane. Now, the story itself, um, I can't go into, obviously, see details about it, but there's two major differences, huge differences between the two cases. Asylum is very puzzly, and with the nature of those puzzles, there's a couple of puzzles, mainly the huge last puzzle, where if you don't figure it out, you're stuck and you will stay stuck until you figure that out and you will have gone around everywhere. You might go to multiple rooms multiple times thinking you've missed something and you get all these clues and you might get stuck. Some people might dislike that. Me, I personally liked it because I had to solve a puzzle to finish the game. This game has some puzzles. There's about three major puzzles that happen in this game and all three of those you can luck into or brute, your, brute force your way through them. So meaning, hey, uh, there's a puzzle here and I might spend extra time to try a bunch of different things and eventually through trial and error, through lots of time spent, I'll get through it. 
Um, where in Asylum, that's not the case. You can't brute force your way through some of those puzzles. You've got to figure them out. Uh, especially the last case, the, the very end of this game, you might either accidentally finish the game through the last puzzle, or again, you might brute force your way, go through it and not get it correct and start again and do it again and maybe not get it correct again and go through and do it again. And you could possibly finish this game without actually figuring out, well, that's kind of weird. How, we didn't figure out the puzzle, but we finished. And it could end anticlimactically. Luckily, we actually figured out the puzzle at the end. And when we did so, we erupted in humongous cheers and we were in one of the rooms at BGDCon and everyone was looking at us. But if you didn't figure out the puzzle and you just kind of like backed your way into it, it might be anticlimactic. So there's two styles here. I like the Asylum Puzzle style better, saying I need to figure this out or else I can't finish it. And if you need some help, maybe go, there's some people online at BGG that have some spoilers, but in a succession. So yeah, you get one little extra hint and then do it. And then if you're still stuck a couple hours later, come back and do this. Where this is just like, you could just get your way through it. And some people might like this better because some people might have been very frustrated with the puzzly aspect of Asylum. If that's you, then Marcy Case you're probably going to like better because you will not get stuck. For example, Sam Healy liked this one better because he didn't like the puzzly aspects as much and he likes blowing things up. This one's going to be for you. So they're two very different. So in the end, I really did like Asylum a lot better from the puzzliness and the artwork, personal preference. Doesn't mean the story's less immersive. Doesn't mean the story is, is less captivating. Uh, again, I played this with at BGGCon four hours straight. This took us exactly right at four hours to finish it. Uh, and it took us four runs to get through it. Uh, three, no, three runs, four hours. The Asylum took us five hours, probably because we were stuck at a puzzle, a couple of puzzles for a while. So, you know, it's about the same time, four to five hours per case, which seems about right. Uh, but at the end, again, they had not played Asylum. They were so excited. At the end of the week of BGGCon, we played a ton of new games, a ton of stuff, and we all went around the room and said, what was the best gaming moment that you had there? All four of us unanimously said, Time Stories, Marcy Case. So I might be downing this. It might sound like I'm downing Marcy Case. I'm not. I just didn't like it as much as Asylum. With that being said, it was still the most memorable moment of a four-day convention where we played a ridiculous amount of new and awesome games. That's saying a lot. If the one that I didn't like as much as the first one still blew everyone's socks off and was unanimously the best gaming moment of the convention. Whew, that puts that into perspective. So, Marcy Case is awesome. If you're still wondering if you should buy Time Stories, get it. It's the most amazing board game experience I've ever had in my life, and this now doubled it. And I will continue to buy these because they're only 20 bucks a piece. And I'm going to keep this. So we're going to do a saxophone serenade here in just a moment. But you might say, why are you going to keep it? Well, if I have a good movie that I really love, and I've got some people that have never seen it, and there's some plot twists, some moments that I know they're going to jump, and, and they're going to be scared, and I kind of want to experience them seeing it for the first time, maybe sometime down the road, I might want to play this with people who have never played this before. Even maybe with them, maybe off to the side just watching them, because the experience of watching them experience this at the same time, and the different things that happen, and watching and living the experiences, and watching them, as opposed to being like totally into, in, inside of it, I think that might be cool. Have you ever watched a movie with a, a person that had never seen it before? It's the same thing. So I'm going to keep it, because it's awesome. And I might play it again. If I don't, big whoop, it still fits in the main box. Otherwise, there we go. That's it, Marcy Case. I'm really looking forward to the, the, the magic one that's coming out at the end of the year. And then the next one, the Pharaoh one that's in the first quarter. Don't stop, don't sleep. This is the most amazing game I've ever played. That's Time Stories, and this one is the Marcy Case.